minutes, Aunt. Usually the blood gets off at the second floor. Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece, The Shining, was filmed around 1980, decades before CGI blood was an option. So the elevator sequence was shot on a soundstage in miniature. Kubrick needed to have two to 300 gallons of Kensington Gore fake blood available for the shot and reportedly took days to reset. Kensington Gore, named for the street in London, was a trademark for fake blood used in film and theater and is where the term gory originated. It was manufactured by a retired British pharmacist named John Tynegate in during the 1960s and 1970s. Many varieties of blood having various degrees of viscosity, shades, and textures were available. Years earlier, Alfred Hitchcock had used Bosco chocolate syrup as fake blood in his 1960 thriller, Psycho. Since the film was in black and white, the color was less important than the consistency. In 2010, visual effects expert David Ridland generated a computer model of the blood elevator sequence using Real Flow 4 and Lightwave 9.6. Well, what resulted was a strikingly accurate recreation of the original practical effect. Ridlin used a half-scale set because he felt Kubrick would have wanted his shoot to look as close to reality as possible, though there is some evidence that Kubrick might have used a one-third scale. So how much blood would it actually take for the classic elevator scene? Stay with me, everyone. Ridlin used 366 gallons of digital blood. Doubling the size of Ridland's elevator set would mean the volume of blood needed to fill it would increase by a factor of eight. The result is 2,926 gallons of blood. Can I get a come on now? The average adult weighs about 150 to 180 pounds and would have 4,500 to 5,700 milliliters of blood in their body. For easy math, I'm going to say 5,000 milliliters or five liters of blood per person. David Ridlin is American, so we will base this on the US gallon, which is 3.785 liters. 2,928 gallons times 3.785 liters equals 11,082 liters. Divided by five liters of blood per person comes out to about 2,216 people. Can I get a come on, baby? <laughs> 